Come on, boy. Hey, everyone. It's XO Man, and uh, I want to set up another video for you, which I which I'm going to show right now. Um, and I've talked about it in in a, a previous video, but I want to run it in its entirety here. And uh, that is the uh, rocket stove video that my wife and I made. And boy, it was it was really interesting. We didn't expect all of that uh, <coughs> feedback and controversy. Um, you know, those of you who know me and or us know our shtick by now, and that is we just we vlog and we make fun videos. We do what we like, um, and. Uh, we try to throw up some good ideas and introduce products and things that we like. We don't, we don't, we, we haven't uh, done any like uh, endorsement kind of stuff. You know, we're, we, we don't mind that. We don't have anything against that. We just haven't done any of that where we take money from a company to show off their products. That's, that's not really our thing. We just, uh, we just do what we like. And I like the idea of the rocket stove. So I wanted to present it. And as I said in my other video, I like to look at my wife more than I do myself, and I think other people feel the same. She's very attractive. So she does the demonstrations and presentations, and I think she does really good. I'm really proud of her, and uh, she's fun to watch. She's a good-looking woman, and some people have a real problem with that, and particularly this one because she had on a T-shirt, uh, a, a thick shirt that she wears it's a gray shirt and it got it's February and it got chilly and she wasn't wearing a bra God forbid and for for a few moments there you could see that she was cold okay come on let's let's be grown-ups um, we don't have issues with that kind of stuff I know you know men men aren't it's not dictated what undergarments men wear so I don't I don't see what the big deal is what about what undergarments women wear kind of body armor underneath their clothing that's not a big deal to us but obviously it is to a lot of people we got uh, millions of a couple of million views just about in a couple of weeks and uh, and like I say a lot of controversy somebody somebody's already made a, a video somewhat uh, critiquing this or uh, you know making fun of this which is we, we love it we love that kind of attention that's fine um, but anyway, here is the video. It was meant with good intent. Uh, we like this rocket stove. This guy on Etsy sells them. There, I'll put a link below if you want to buy one. I know some people actually like the stove. Yeah, farm girl looks good. I get that. But I know some people are interested in these things. And this is a really, a really good little model. It's a small one. It's a very small portable kind. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll check out some other stoves. I'll show you some different. Uh, one or two other stoves that I like but uh, check this one out and thank you all for watching and listen if you have interesting stories I mean I'm not looking for everything but it, I, I'm, I, we're gonna select, select one or two people here and there maybe to interview and we would like to share other people's stories on our channel as well so if you have a really fascinating job or you just an interesting life and uh, we might be interested in interviewing you or featuring you. Let us know. You know how to do that. Okay, thank you again, everyone. Here's that video. Oh, what have we got here, farm girl? We have the coolest rocket stove. Yeah. Yeah. We just got this from our friend uh, Bruce on Etsy. Yep, at Iron of Life. Iron of Life. He's a, he's a welder and he makes these. And that is really cool. And we are going to use it for the first time. We've never used yep. one of these, have we? We're going to try it out. Yeah. So it's very simple. Look at that. You just put on the... He's, he's got four of these Stands. bolts. Yep. yep. And you just put those on. The short ones go in the back. He's given some... Open that up. Instructions he sent with it. And uh, there's a little stoker here, right? Mm -hmm. this, yeah, that makes, that makes sense. So the concept is what? The concept of a rocket stove, as I understand it, is to maximize on heat efficiency, right? Right. It just takes a little bit of 
tiny kindling. Yeah, yeah. So you want to use really nice, thin, seasoned uh, pieces of kindling, yeah, very right? Dry. And the idea is we're going to put we're going to put those down in there. We're going to feed the stove there. And they're all. It's just going to self feed itself. Mm -hmm. and it's going to be it's vented. Self -feed itself? Yeah. Self -feed itself. <laughs> so we're not going to get fancy. We're not going to use any sort of flint. Uh, survivor prepper way of igniting it we're just going to get the thing started yeah so let's do so that put a little bit of paper in here so you can do instead of having a huge campfire in a big mess you can uh you can cook on one of these little guys what are you waiting for farm girl drop that in there waiting huh? for it to get started all right now Put a few. Push that there. We're gonna see if we can't get this started. We're not gonna overfeed it. We're just gonna put some down in there on the What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to have a lot of air in between yeah. the pieces. And I left this so. thing out in the rain to season it. Look at that. <laughs> it's oh, kind of nice. Actually I didn't leave it in the rain. I had it outdoors for a couple of days. And it was very wet outside. So this sure. this whole thing is going to get super hot, so you're going to have to be very careful. Show us how that thing works without build it, burning yourself. Two pieces goes on the on the corner like this. Oh yeah. There That's two go. pieces. See that? Yep. Very easily assembled. That'll be our grill. Pan. Pan. We're going to cook some eggs. Is it really that easy? We're going to go steal yep. from the chickens. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have to go steal some of my eggs. Yep, it's going really it's well. already started. Yeah, that uh, vent is really working. Yeah. Look at that. It's great. All right, so we just put a couple of pieces of paper in there. You don't want to lose our directions. The destructions? The destructions. I don't think you can destroy this thing. Look at that. Wow. Is it already heating up? Yeah. All right, well, let's take that off of there now. Let's, Not time uh, to cook yet. Shall we go steal some eggs from the chickies? Sure. All right. Wow. That's amazing. Easy peasy. Yes, indeedy. Okay. <laughs> moo moo. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Got some eggs over here. Let's let's fry these up, Jen. Oh, you're gonna make them mad. <clears throat> we'll just do we'll just fry one today, huh? <laughs> that wouldn't even fit in the pan. <laughs> Alright, we won't do those eggs. We'll leave those there. He's so soft. He's gonna hatch that out anyway. He's so soft and sweet. Hey go to go. Chicken chicky. Can you have some food, please? Oh yeah. Somebody's getting a clutch together. Mm-hmm. How many you want? Whatever you got is plenty. Two each? Mm-hmm. You can get those later? Yeah, we'll just do one or two for now. Scaring my chickens. Like it's working. It's jamming. It really does self feed. Now, wow. So yeah, once you get going, you can add uh, larger pieces. But uh, so I think that's gonna. Cook we're gonna have to. Let, fast. Yeah, that's really really hot. We don't even need it that hot. Yeah. Um, it might be a little more challenging in a snowy, sub-zero environment. But, True. Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't need 
a hell of a lot to cook some bacon and eggs or whatever you've got. Yeah, just get a big dove. wrought iron pan and go yeah. to town. So I think we're done feeding this sucker. <clears throat> now let's see if we can cook an egg. I know we can cook an egg. Hey, so I think the pan's heated up. That was Did pretty, not take long. That was just about three seconds. Yeah. Cook an egg. All right. Ah, I broke it. But it is starting to cook already. Okay, so farm girl thinks that's ready to go. She's going to try to demonstrate a flip here. <laughs> oh, nice. That was pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't broken already, <laughs> it would have been broken. <laughs> well, let's do another one uh, and show how to do it properly. All right. And show how. Ken's going to try another one. Ooh, good job. Thanks. You're a pro at this. Yeah. You are a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> I can survive without broken eggs. Okay, let's have that over easy. Flip it back over. Beautiful. Look at that. It's perfect. Farm girl rocks. Mm. Hang on, let me get you a plate. <laughs> Hang on. Yes. Nice. Salt and pepper. She's a goner. Salt with a bit of pepper. Some of that Himalayan. Mm. Hey. What are you doing, dirty pigs? Are you making bacon? No, no mating while we're eating over here. She says, no, sir. All right, try it. No, sir. Oh, so you're pretty fancy about this, huh? Yeah. Gotta have salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> sea salt. Or, or Himalayan salt. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Mountain salt. Yeah. Well, if I could get the pepper on the egg, that would be good. Yeah, it's very windy today. Here's your big fork. All right. Well, thank you, Bruce. Yeah, thank you, Bruce. That's um, awesome. So if you guys want to uh, check these out, Again, the link is below. And it's on Etsy. It's Iron of Life Iron on of Etsy. Life. Yep. All right. <laughs> bon appetit. Mmm. Delicious? Mm-hmm.